won't destroy us. Maybe, maybe we can stop this judgment from coming, which has happened in many instances throughout the Bible. Jonah, the book of Jonah is a great example with the city of Nineveh. God had sent Jonah to prophesy a, a very negative message. He said, yet 40 days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. That's the message that God told Jonah to tell the people of Nineveh. Jonah didn't want to do it. He went the other way. God got a hold of him in a, in a very fun way because I the kids love hearing the story about the whale and Jonah and swallow him up and stuff, but that wasn't very fun for Jonah. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be sitting in a whale's belly for three days and three nights. Not at all. And that darkness and slime and seaweed and oh. gross stuff inside of, the, inside of that whale's belly, I wouldn't want to be in there. But he did for Jonah. But Jonah listened to him and after that he said, okay, you know, I, I, you got my attention, God. I'll, I'll, I'll go and do what you told me to do. So he goes in, and, and it's a huge city. It's not a fun job to tell people, hey, God's going to destroy your city. God is angry with you. People don't generally take nicely to that. Now, maybe they should. They, I mean, honestly, because what he's doing is he's telling them the truth, right? He's saying, look. This is the word from God. God said this. It's going to happen. And he's giving them a warning. But it's not always received that way. Actually, it rarely is. We, that's why we need today, as, as just individuals, we need to have a humble spirit, oftentimes to be able to receive rebuke, receive correction from God's word, so that, look, we're all sinners. We all have areas of our life we need to improve on. When we hear about those areas, we need to be able to receive that and say, okay, you know what, I'm going to change. Instead of getting your feathers all ruffled and saying, ah, I'm never going to go back to that place again because all they do is just talk about what I'm, oh, I'm so bad, all this other stuff. Look, first of all, that's probably not the case, but it's usually people just blowing up over like one thing that gets, that gets hit on that just happens to be their thing and, it, and you get really angry and upset. But my point though with Nineveh is that Jonah preached the message and what happened? They repented. The Bible says they repented in sackcloth and ashes. They got right with God. They humbled themselves. They proclaimed a fast. They got on their knees. They got right with God and just were, were just humbling themselves and saying, God, we're sorry. And God saw that. And the Bible says, and God saw their works that they turned from their evil way, or they turned from their wicked way, and God repented of the evil that he thought to do unto them. Their city was spared. God pronounced judgment against them because of what they did. But because they heard, they were warned, and they changed their ways, God said, okay, I'm going to hold off. I won't, I won't destroy you now. Because I like seeing that type of repentance. I like seeing people who will get right. 